This video is for our module 15 and 16 review. So it's going to go over some problems that are very similar to the ones that we will see on our test tomorrow. Um, so make sure you follow along, make sure you know how to do each of these different types of problems. So we're going to start with measures of center. So these are things that are going to tell us kind of the middle of our data. So when we are finding the mean, we want to take all of the numbers, we want to add them up, and then we divide by how many numbers we counted or how many numbers we added up or part of the data set. So that kind of fair shares or makes an average of everything, kind of right? If we all pick different amounts of apples and then we all put them in a basket and divided them out equally, that is our average there. So the median, it's very important that we put them in order, least to greatest, and then we find the middle number. So this is often a pretty good indicator of, these two are usually good indicators of the center, kind of dividing everything out equally or finding that middle number. And then our mode is the one that happens the most often, and sometimes that can be a good indicator of the data, but if you have one number that maybe does have more and it's at the end, that's maybe not a good representation of all the numbers. So it's just important to kind of look at and analyze your data of what numbers do I have, what number best represents them. So this table shows the weight of boxes on a postal truck. So we want to find the mean of the boxes. So go ahead and add these up. So here I can see 10 and 10 is 20, 24, and here is eight more is 32, plus 12 is 44, five more is 49, nine more, so what did I say, 49, and then nine more is 58. So we have 58 pounds in boxes, and I have eight numbers that we added up, so we're going to divide that by eight. And I know that eight doesn't go into 58 evenly, so I'm just going to go ahead and add that decimal to get started. So it goes in there seven times is 56. There's two left over. It goes in there two times is 16. Four left over, bring down another zero and five. So if they evenly distributed the boxes and rearranged them, they would each have 7.25 or seven and a quarter pounds in them. So here we have this bus driver is counting the number of passengers at each bus stop that get on the bus. And so here, are there five different bus stops and how many passengers got on? So we're going to find the mean, the median, and the mode. Since we're looking at all of that data, let's go ahead and put these in order. So go ahead and do that. So eight, eight, 10, 11, 13. So to find the mean, we want to add these all up. So here's 16 plus 10 is 26, 11 more is 27, and 13 makes 40 divided by five. I am not quite sure I did that right. So I'm gonna double check myself one more time. Eight and eight is 16, 10 more is 26, 11 more is 37, and 13 more. Oh yeah, I forgot to carry that one up. I was like, just didn't feel like eight. I was like, eight's too little. It's got to be more in the middle. So I forgot to carry my one in my head. So good thing I double checked myself. So it's really 50 divided by five is 10. Okay. So that sounds a little bit better, right? I knew these were too little. It was, it had to be more in the middle because I had these bigger numbers that needed to pull it over. Okay. The median, find the middle number is also 10. And the number that occurs the most is eight. So if I had to choose one of these data points to represent them, 
I would choose the mean or the median because they're the same and that's the very center of my data and it kind of represents everybody. So yeah, sometimes if you less got on, sometimes if you more, but overall about 10 people were getting on the, the bus every time. So this mode, yeah, it occurred the most often, but there's also three other numbers that are bigger than that. So I don't really feel like this is a good representation, but either of these would be a good representation of that data. Hey, George works in with works with his dad in a yard to help get ready for a new patio. The times in minutes he works each day are listed. What is the mean of these times? So our average, we want to go ahead and add these all up. So I'm not going to try and do these ones in my head because I know I won't be able to keep track of them. So I'm going to just start with these three. So here's 12 and 5 is 17. Here's 5 and 10. So there's 137. So now I've got 65, 30, 46, and 51. So here is 11 and 12. Here's 9, 10, and 9 more is 19. So 192 and 137. That way I just didn't have as many numbers to keep track of. So here is 9, 12, and 3. So all of the minutes he spent was 329 helping his dad. So if he took those and kind of spread them out equally and he would have helped his dad the same amount each day, so he helped his dad one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days. So go ahead and do 329 divided by seven, and that will give you the average amount of time he helped his dad work in the yard. Hey, for a beach trip, Marion spent $9 on sunscreen, $18 on beach towels, 22 on food, nine on a first aid kit, and 11 on sand toys. So what measure of centers, that's the mean, median, and mode, is represented by nine? So I'm going to put these numbers in order so I can kind of look at them a little bit better. So I've got nine on sunscreen, nine on a first aid kit, I've got 11 on sand toys, 18 on beach towels, and 22 on food. So it's not the median because the median is 11. It does happen multiple times, so it could be the mode. And I know it's not going to be the average because nine is over on this far end. It's really not in the center of the data. And I've got these nines and 22s, and I know somewhere between nine and 22 is not going to be nine. It's going to be somewhere around maybe like 16-ish, about five more, so 16 and a half somewhere in the middle. If I'm looking at highs and lows, right, they've got to meet in that middle area somewhere. 9 and 22, the middle of that is not 9. So I think it is the mode. So for a beach trip, so same problem. He spent this on his sand toys. What is the median? And we've already put them in order, so we know our median is 11 here. And then our last problem asks which measure of center will help determine the average cost of the items. Well, the average is another word for mean, so that is the measure of center that he would use to find the average. And it doesn't even ask what is the average, it just says which one would help him. Hey, let's check out our box, our dot plot here. So what is the mean, median, and mode? So when we're doing these dot plots, it's you gotta think about it a little bit more, and I really think it's best to just list out the numbers and then you don't even have to worry about trying to use your dot plot because it can be a little more complicated. So I'm going to start and I'm going to list out these numbers. So I have 15, 15, and I have a 16, two 17s, three 18s. Oh, I don't want to write it quite that close to each other. It looks like 181. And then I have two 20s. So we can find the mode, and that one is a really nice one to look at the dot plot. And I can also see there's three of these here, and this is the peak here, so the mode is 18. 
So now we want to find the median. So 15 and 20 match, 15 and 20 match, 16 and 18, 17 and 18. So now I'm left with these two in the middle here. So I have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four on each side. So the middle of 17 and 18 is 17.5. So now we need to find that average. So we want to add all of these up. So here I can see here's 30. 16, 17, and 17 makes 34. Oh, let's see. 18. Oh, okay, let's see. I'm just going to start with this so far. So I've done 15 through 17. So there's 10. And 6, 7, 8. Okay, now I have my three 18. So I'm going to just do 18 times 3 is 24 and three, four, five, so there's 54, and two 20s makes 40. So I've got 80, 40, and 54 as my total pieces here. So here's four, 12 plus five is 17. So I have a total of 174, and then we're dividing by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So I know it's not going to go in there evenly, because it doesn't end in zero. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick that zero at the end there. And now it will have one decimal place to so go ahead and figure out 